Hey Chris here, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're looking at the auto value betting common questions that I get asked on a regular basis. When I say auto value betting, I of course mean the software that places value bets for you on each way horse racing bets. And literally all you need to do is set your accounts up on the software and then click run at the start of each day. It really is that simple. Before we get into these common questions though, of which there will be five in total, just quickly mention the Profit Boss Match Betting Facebook group. If you're not yet joined up, there'll be a link down in the description. Now that is a match betting group originally, but if you are wanting to talk anything value betting related on there, then be my guest. Oh, and a couple more things to mention. I just wanted to give these tips out when you're using this software. So basically tip number one would be not to use William Hill at all with this software, because we've found that William Hill just knows about this software, it, it can detect it, and it will just ban your account very, very quickly. So I would personally recommend that you'd be using a William Hill account more for maybe placing extra place bets rather than using it on this software. And the second tip I wanted to mention is rather than letting the software automatically log into your Skybet account, actually set manual login and log it in yourself when you open the software up. We just found that it allows a Skybet account to last much, much longer than letting the software log it in for you. So common question number one then, can you run this software on a Chromebook or Mac? Well, the answer is no, because you do need to download this software. It's not just run off a, a browser, downloadable to your Windows PC. Now, if you haven't got a Windows PC, I will leave a link down in the description for a refurbished uh, PC setup, basically. So it's gonna have the monitor, mouse, keyboard, obviously the computer tower, and everything you need to run this software. And they're around 150 pounds, which sounds like a lot of money to invest to get started with this, but obviously over the months of using it, it's going to pay for itself and then some. I'd recommend that you have at least eight gigabytes of RAM. That's what my laptop has, and it's ran the software perfectly. But if you want it to be extra, extra smooth, then 16 gigabytes of RAM is better. Question number two then is how much money do you need to get started using this? Well, of course, the software is 30 pounds to purchase for the month. So there's that. And then you would also want at least 100 pounds as your bankroll. And that 100 pounds would be split across your bookmakers. So obviously, if you're using two bookmaker accounts, you just put 50 pounds in each one. Or maybe if you're using five, then you put 20 pounds in each one. And that'll just allow you to use 50 pence each way stake, so one pound total bets, meaning that that one pound is just risking 1% of your total bankroll. Obviously, one pound out of 100 is 1%. Nice. But more ideal would actually be to start with at least 200 pounds, because that way you could use one pound each way or two pound total stakes, and that would give you a much better chance of making more profit and ultimately, I mean, I've seen someone using a thousand pound bankroll and placing five pound each way bets, and they're making over a thousand pounds a month using this. But I understand not everyone is going to have that kind of bankroll to work with. Common question number three, should you use healthy accounts for this software or only gubbed slash restricted accounts? Well, that really comes down to what your goals are. So Yes, absolutely, you can use healthy accounts if your goals are to just make as much money as possible, get restricted, and then kind of move on to the next thing. If you're someone that's wanting to, say, do the two-up strategy or the extra places strategy, or maybe do some manual value betting yourself using something like the Rebel Betting software, then no, you would not use this software on healthy accounts. You would wait till those healthy accounts get restricted to the point where they're can only get like maybe two or three pounds each way stakes on, and then you would use this software on them. But yeah, it really, really comes down to personal preference and what you want to get out of your bookmaker account. Before we get to the final question, number five, question number four is actually, when should you run this software? Well, you could run it 24 hours a day, seven days a week if you wanted to, but it would mean having your computer on all the time and some of you may be a bit wary of using too much electricity, or maybe you just don't want your laptop running all the time. Maybe you just really need your computer to be able to use it for other things. Because remember, when you're running this software, you're not going to be able to use your computer at the same time in case it needs to place a bet for you. So an ideal time range would really be 
between sort of 8 a.m. to 3 or 4 p.m., 4 p.m. ideally, in the afternoon. So if you're someone that maybe you leave the house at half seven and you want to get it set up at seven o'clock, that's absolutely fine. And maybe you get home at five o'clock or half five from work and you can't turn it off till six, that's also fine. But a rough guide is between that 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Before we get to question five as well, please do tap the like button below if you found any of this video helpful whatsoever. And having said that, question five would be, what are the best bookmakers to use on this software? Well, I'll actually link a video down in the description because I've done an entire video just for that. So if you wanna go and check that out, let me know in the comments section how you found these questions and if you have any additional questions that you'd like me to answer. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.